What's up guys and welcome to the Heroic Guide for Storm Stout Brewery. Uh, Big Nash here, just going through it real quick with you. Again, of course, we've got the boss mechanics scrolling around up top for you. Uh, that's not a problem there. This instance is extremely, extremely easy, okay? Um, I almost didn't do a guide for it, but I told you I'd do all the guides for all the dungeons, so here comes the second one that I'm going to do. This first boss, Ook Ook. He, a couple different abilities to watch out for. The tank's main job is to face him away from the raid. That's the first thing you want to do. After you kill all the monkeys that you need to kill in order to get him to come out, you turn him around so he's not facing the raid as a tank um, because he does do a frontal cone AoE. It's a very small frontal cone AoE, but it's still a frontal cone. So get him out of that. He also stacks an ability called Going Bananas um, as time goes on, which increases his damage done. The only thing that this really affects is the achievement. The achievement is to get 20 stacks before you kill him. Um, and the way to kill him is you get on the barrels and you run the barrels into him. It increases his damage taken and it stacks. So what you're doing as a healer is um, really at the beginning of the fight, you're just blanket healing. You're, there's really nothing big going on. The only thing that you're really going to need to heal is if someone gets hit by a barrel trying to jump on it, they'll take damage. Um, the tank will get hit decently hard on occasion, so keep your eye on the tank. But for the main part, what you're doing is you're running around and you're grabbing barrels. He puts barrels down at 60, or at 90, 60, and 35% health. Um, that's when they redo all the barrels, so you can still get the 20% or the 20 stacks. It's not that difficult to do. Uh, we actually tried for it here and ended up going over. I think we got like 22 or 23, and apparently you don't get the achievement if you go over. No big deal. I didn't know that. We'll get it next time. Um, keep in mind, you can cast while you are on the barrels. So feel free to jump on him as much as you can because as long as you can multitask, you can heal while being on a barrel while trying to run into Uku. All the while, pretty much what you're doing is just burning him. Um, the DPS is pretty much just burning him or helping at the beginning, like at the first 90%, everybody grabs a barrel besides the tank, throws it into him, and then just starts plowing into him. As you can see now, he literally just melts. Um, GG, next boss. Hoptilus, the infamous Big Bunny. Um, as you can see in his abilities, he's got a couple things you really got to watch out for. Um, on heroic mode, not so much. Challenge mode, I heard, uh, I haven't tried this one yet on challenge mode. I've heard it's very, very, um, everything hits a lot harder in challenge mode. The trick to this one, guys, is he does this furl wind that you see right now. What this does is it's just a blade storm practically. You just want to get away from him when he's doing it. Um, get the hammers out, kill those little ads. Um, and just make sure that you kind of got everything grouped up. This is a big one for the tanks to make sure they're AoEing the mobs um, and keeping keeping aggro on the mobs while DPSing the boss. The second ability that the boss does is what you're seeing right here. Um, we call it the uh, bunny sprinkler. Okay, the bunny sprinkler will hurt if you stand in front of the bunny sprinkler. Do not stand in front of bunny sprinkler. Bunny sprinkler is bad. Uh, but other than that guys, it, it's seriously, that's like the entire fight is rinse and repeat after that. Uh, the biggest thing in this fight for healing, obviously, is the tank. Um, when he starts doing the whirlwind, he does have uh, a very quick cast time that shows it, but a lot of times the tanks don't get away quite fast enough, so make sure that you've got, um, you know, a, a couple hots on your tank just to keep them safe. The other things you have to worry about is obviously if there's melee in the group, make sure that they're not getting uh, smacked by that blade storm and then obviously if people are standing in the bunny sprinkler which we already said you're not supposed to do so don't do it uh, that's the only thing you really got to worry about healing um, this fight the healing is so easy if things are done right this fight's healing is extremely difficult if things are done wrong I did this in a pug um, this morning actually and I literally had to throw away the footage because I was doing so hard heals on this because the tank couldn't hold aggro on these little guys. So all the little bunnies are literally just beating on everyone, especially me because of course I'm the healer. Um, and this tank was just absolutely awful. Um, I ended up kicking him after this boss because he was so bad and we had had enough of him from the previous rest of the instance. Um, anyway, there's your fight. Very simple. Funny enough. This fight, this fight is very, very long, okay? Um, it's got three different bosses. They will all come out, uh, I believe, some. it's random order, I believe. Uh, pretty much these two guys, uh, you just burn them down. They do have a couple different abilities, like bloat. As you can see, um, as long as you're spread out, the bloat goes outside of your ears. So as long as you don't have anyone on either side of you and you stay somewhat spread out, the only ones that really have to worry about this then would be the tank and the melee. Um, that's pretty much the only thing you need to worry about. There is another thing that you get that stacks. Um, 
and the only thing you have to do is just jump or move around. Like as long as you're not standing completely dead still the entire fight, you don't have to worry about the stacks. You just do a little side strafe every once in a while to keep your stacks down. If you hit 10 stacks, you get drunk, you get dazed, you go away, you can't cast. Obviously if you can't cast, you can't heal. If you can't heal, someone probably dies. So that's really the only thing you have to worry about here. Um, again, the old, that's the main damage is the tank. This phase where you get all these little ads, um, all you're really worrying about in this phase is just kind of keeping everybody up because what they, what the DPS need to do is you need to get in there so that you're breaking up all these uh, links while you're nuking down guys. At the beginning you need to kind of almost focus nuke, especially I would assume in like challenge mode to make sure you can get these guys down as quick as possible because they will heal each other as they channel. They heal quick and they heal hard. So make sure that your DPS is really just banging on one guy. I mean, after you get a couple down, then you can start to AOE. But at the beginning, you know, make sure you're really nuking them down. Uh, as far as healing goes, this is, this is just pure AOE healing. There's no one to aggro, so the tank doesn't even take that much damage. So you're literally just AOE healing the entire fight. It's very, very simple. Um, you know, if you're, this would actually be really sweet for bubbles, just to put them all out and then set them and forgive them. You don't have to worry about anything else. Um, as you can see right now, I don't know what I'm going through. I'm actually so bored right now in this video that I'm checking to see what gear these guys might drop that might be beneficial for me because I literally have nothing else to do. Um, again, in the puck I ran earlier, this fight took a lot longer, and the reason it took a lot longer again is because the DPS didn't know what they were doing. Guys, I can't stress enough how important it is to know the dungeon you're going into. Okay, I understand that most of the stuff is face rule. But the reason it's face roll is it's face roll if you know what you're doing. Okay, it's face roll if you have a group that's competent. Then it's face roll stuff. If, if you're just some pug and you have no idea what you're doing, don't walk into an instance and get an attitude when things aren't going right. It's, if you don't know what you're doing, that's your fault. Go online, check out my videos, check out other guys' videos. There's tons of videos on these dungeons. There's the dungeon journal. That's how we learned them always. Read the dungeon journal. Okay, well he does this, this, and this. Probably should watch out for those. This is how we'll mitigate this. GG, ready, go. And then, and then you pull. And you figure it out as you go. And a lot of times you won't even wipe. You go, oh, that's that ability. Okay, and that's what I need to watch out for. And you can literally, the damage isn't hard enough in these heroics that's gonna one-shot you most of the time. Um, so as a healer, your main job is literally you're not gonna run out of mana if you do your healing wrong. Um, even in this fight, I was extremely careless with my mana and I still didn't run out. Um, it's, it's just kinda weird. And then obviously in the last phase with the big boss, he does the bubble shield, you wanna get out of that. Obviously if he puts poo on the ground, you get out of that. Um, that's what you're gonna be healing. The only other thing is when, it's, when he covers the ground, you wanna get in your bubble and you wanna fly up so that you, and get closer to the boss so that you can um, heal everybody because when you're on the ground if you're not in a bubble uh, you can't cast so you can't heal so that's your first priority is to make sure that as soon as you see those bubbles come out you're over by one as soon as they're clickable you're in one and you're up and away so that way you can get out um, this is a nice time to pop like uh, if, if you have treants for this fight it actually works really well for that phase because you can pop them and you don't have to worry about them um, if you hit, you know, if you make sure your wild growth is out, your rejuves out, make sure you got mushrooms down. Anything that you can instant cast pretty much while you're going so that you can cast is going to be key for this fight. Um, I recommend doing that, but as I said, this dungeon as a whole is not very hard to heal. The main thing you're healing is people's mistakes and the tank, obviously, but mainly people's mistakes. So, guys, I hope you had fun watching this guide. More to come. See you in the game. Bye.